I am an artist. Many artists are a bit unusual, and I'm a bit unusual for an artist. You see, most artists want everyone to see their work. I want my work to go completely unnoticed. When I was a teenager, a relative of mine was diagnosed with a deadly type of skin cancer called melanoma. He had to choose whether he wanted to keep his life or his ear. He hoped to keep his life. I was fascinated with his new ear that was made for him. I didn't even know prosthetic ears existed. As an artist, I saw how the ear was handmade of silicone and meticulously painted to look just like the real thing. Well, it's been 20 years, and thankfully, my relative is still alive. And most people don't even know that his ear is fake. When most people think of prosthetics, they think of legs and arms that look nothing like the real thing. I make lifelike prosthetics that not only give people the function they need, they also allow them to look and feel whole. I'm now known for making prosthetics for thousands of people who have been disfigured due to cancer or trauma. Like this girl, who was born without an ear. And these people, who have heartbreaking stories hidden underneath each prosthesis. I'd love to share their stories with you, but some people don't want their stories to be shared with strangers. In 2008, I met Brenda. She had to choose whether she wanted to keep her life or her breasts. She had breast cancer. She hoped to keep her life. Now, nearly everyone is affected at some point in their life by someone they know and love with breast cancer. Did you know that one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer and nearly half of them have a mastectomy, which usually includes removing the nipple? This means that approximately one in 20 women knows what it's like to sacrifice her breasts in order to hopefully spare her life. Breast cancer is way more than pink ribbons and awareness that we see so much of in the month of October. When a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer, she has some tough decisions to make. And the consequences of those decisions change the course of her life and the lives of those that love her. The treatment is, it's terrible, physically and emotionally, and it can last for years, if not the rest of life. When a woman has a mastectomy, she loses a part of herself that makes her feel like a woman. It can affect her confidence. And some women don't even want to be seen by their husbands anymore. Some women can't bear to look at themselves in the mirror. Every day, these women are reminded of the cancer they had or have. Each time they shower or look at themselves in the mirror, they see scars, not breasts. Brenda, who I mentioned earlier, described it like this. There's just a, a total blank, blank chest. There's like, you feel like a walking it, and, and it's like crazy. I mean, even men have nipples. I mean, it's just not natural. She asked me if I could make her nipples to help her feel like a woman again. You know, this was not a vain request. She simply wanted to feel better. She wanted to feel like herself again, to feel whole again. So I'm standing in the back of the room watching her reaction in the mirror as she put her prosthesis on for the first time. So she has her shirt pulled up, and after, after she put the nipples on, she looked up in the mirror and she smiled. She was ecstatic. But then she did something I did not expect. She glanced over at me and blushed and quickly pulled down her shirt. <laughs> yeah, she told me she felt naked again. 
naked for the first time since having breast cancer. I know that's hard to imagine. She looked in the mirror and she saw breasts, not scars. For her, it was the final step she needed in her journey with breast cancer that allowed her to put the cancer behind her and move on with life. Each nipple and areola, which is the colored skin around the nipple, is as unique as a fingerprint. When I make a prosthesis for a woman, I try to use molds and pre-mastectomy photographs so that I can give each person something familiar. I want these women to find those emotions, to rekindle those emotions they had before their mastectomy. Now I could mass produce these and I could try to reach the 150 million women in the world who could possibly use these, but I found that when I give a woman her nipples, it has far more powerful effect than anything that could be mass produced. When I give a woman her nipples, the emotions are joyful and powerful and overwhelming. I'm going to let you see a few of these women as they put their nipples on for the first time. Oh, unbelievable. That is just unbelievable. Awesome. It truly is. They look like so real. <laughs> it's Yay. amazing. Wow. You can't even tell. That's wonderful. Oh, that looks real. That looks very real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is perfect. I wanted something that made me, like they say, feel whole again. So thank you. Don't you just love seeing that? How many of you are smiling right now? Don't you just love seeing this newfound joy in these women who you, who you know have been through so much? I love that I get to be a part of this, that I get to be a part of their journey. I love that I can use art to help people feel whole again. Thank you.